episode one everything all the discussions by various women that have that have here in season one has been centered on the person of tony lawani or do you feel that tony lawani will be the villain of the real housewives of lagos season two <music> Welcome to my channel guys please if you are watching my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys guys the most of the battery housewives of lagos season two is at guys it was fantastic so guys i'm going to give you an a rundown on it some of the intricacies that happened some special scenes that happened what happened i feel about them i'm going to give you my view about this Miriam. Trima and Tony Lawani, they met again. Guys, after one year, their quarrel never stay. No? Oh, they drew our women a quarrel. So, there are issues, they are unresolved. Since the show ended, Tony Lawani and Marian, according to Tony Lawani, they have not talked. They have not had a call. And guys, they met. Unfortunately, the sad story of the loss of Tony Lawani. Unborn child came into their fulcrum of discussion. Till I want to accuse me of Maria of not calling her, of not reaching out to her when she lost her baby. And guys, as usual, Till Lawani said, You did not call me when I lost my daughter, this, that. But Maria said, I was out of the country. So, but she said, It's only Laura that called her when she lost her baby. So, the likes of Yabo Ojo, Chioma, Laura Ike, uh, Yabo Ojo, Chioma, Carolina Danjuma, they didn't reach out to her. They didn't call her. And guys, as I've told you earlier, Carolina Danjuma is not in season two. As she said that she will not be in season two, she met it. She kept her promise that she was not in this season two. So, but Maria said she lied. That she actually called her. And. Truth be told, Tony Lawan doesn't want to talk what happened about what happened in season one. How Marian felt that Tony Lawan did not ask for properly towards her because they have been friends for 13 to 14 years. Long time allies and friends. But be that as it may, that argument also ensued. The another aspect of it I want to talk about is this is a is scene two where yabo john and shema they met guys remember that incident that they are reunion that was anchored by utun wanchuku yeah there was basbo's argument a contest who is better between Choma and uh, toy lawani that almost resulted in a physical fisticuff between Choma and toy lawani you know now Shoba said, quote out of quote, she wanted to attack me with a babalawa outfit. Something like a jazz. That's her words. So, Shema is still angry about that incident that she didn't expect her in Lawani to go to the essay that she wanted to become physical with her by attacking her. On a, on a reunion show, that for me was out of place. He told you Lawani. But guys, I thought that they could have gone over it, but those issues are still there. Those grudges, they are still there. The point here is that throughout episode one, everything, all the discussions by various women that have that have here in season one, has been centered on the person of Tony Lawani. So, guys, my question to you guys that have watched season one, uh, sorry, episode one, sorry, please episode one that i've watched this episode one is this do you think that or do you feel that Tony lawani will be the villain of the real housewives of lagos season two that's a million dollar question other episodes will review it